We're going to show you how to use the shunt routine today. When the field offset value gets near minus 1000, it's time to do the shunt. We'll switch the nucleus first to the maintenance nucleus. Go to the nucleus pull down menu and choose other, put in MM, and that will bring up a maintenance pull down menu where you can see the maintenance routines, including shunt. We're going to need the brass shunt screwdriver for making the adjustment and we're going to need a water sample in the magnet so that we can see the field adjustments as we make them. On this particular magnet, the shunt routine is going to be done on the side of the magnet between the brown bands. Other magnets, the program will tell you where to do the shunt. Once the system starts scanning, we want to change to PPM mode so that we can see the peak on the screen. You can click PPM in the middle of the screen. We're going to move this water peak over to the middle of the screen where the heavy dashed line is. Once you start engaging the screw, turn it counterclockwise. If you overshoot, that's okay. I was doing this by myself. I'm going to re-engage the shunt screw and back it off just a little bit and get it as close to the middle as I can. Once the peak is centered, we're going to change back to FID mode by typing Control S or clicking milliseconds. And then finally, in the smart window, it tells you to click the yellow window or type Control Q. That will do the final steps of the program and we're done. You've shunted the magnet and it's ready for use.